You can do anything because you want to do everything. That happened to me, I guess. I just want to be free. Not to niche down, but to explore my passions. But sometimes too much that I don't take actions. We both love that feeling of deep concentration. So how can you stop procrastinating? There is no tip, there is no hack. You can't play defense, you must attack. Out of all of those things in front of you, pick the one you naturally pursue. Remember, you are the niche, you are one of one. Start creating that thing and have some fun. Should you niche down for the algorithm? That's the question that plagues us all, at least subconsciously. It could be one of the reasons why I have some of the, these moments where I just can't create. And I think you can relate. It's not that we both don't have ideas. It's when we have too many. There is an abundance of ideas. The desire to create what one truly wants is scarce. Let me repeat that. You don't lack ideas. You lack desire to do what you want to create. But don't believe me. Why is this true? Well, look for yourself at those moments when it's just effortless to start and keep creating. Those are never the projects that you must do. And it is rarely the project you purely do for money or any external influences such as an algorithm. But it is always the one that you feel you want to create. Even if all other options are practically better, easier or might make you more money, or any money for that sake. It reminds me of a quote from Alan Watts. What would you do if money was no object? How would you truly enjoy spending your time? You do that and forget the money. Now, Alan Watts can say what he wants. I can say what I want. But you have to give yourself that permission. You are the only one who can give yourself that permission to create the things you want to create for their own sake, not for the money not for the algorithm, not for anything external. And if you do that, if you can give yourself the permission to create those things, you will be discovered. It may take years, it may take a decade, and honestly, it might never happen. But if it never happens, at least you've not wasted your time. At least you did something that you wanted to do for yourself instead of for anyone else, any external thing, any external human being. But truthfully, there's a very high chance you will be discovered because the world is craving for an authentic artist like you or future you. Why is this? Because they're so rare. Everyone is average. Everyone has a niche. Everyone does the same. And everyone is unhappy. So my question to you, is it worth compromising your freedom? This poem is one of the many things I like to create. It's the blessing and the curse of the jack of all trades. If you are like me and have this multi-passionate trait, the writer, the poet, the artist at heart can't help themselves from creating that art. You might suppress it for one or five years before it finds its way back and reappears. Don't ever tell yourself money is the problem. What you truly desire is that artistic freedom. There is an artist inside of you, deep down there, you know. It's true. The freedom to create what you want, where you want, and when inspiration strikes cannot be compromised. Creative freedom is not for sale, only to those who are willing to die with regrets. And you know what? That freedom is available to you today. It's not something you have to wait for. It's not like you have to wait to build your dream house because you need a million dollars. The artistic freedom and everything that comes with it is available to you today. But it is not bad if you don't embrace it today. It's not even bad if you come back at this video or any video for that sake 10 years from now. The only question then is, is that acceptable to you? That you waste 10 years of your life not working on the things you would be creating for their own sake. To me, it is not. Make a compromise, become a prisoner. The one who compromises lives in a prison without knowing it. I might have one day left. I might have 60 years left doesn't matter right now I have tomorrow maybe just already left to me a peaceful life is one without compromises I've noticed looking back at all the compromises I've made I don't say you, you can't make compromises big disclaimer I'm not saying you have to do anything or you can't do anything it's for yourself to decide and I still make compromises but it's on those things that don't matter to me the small things in life you can compromise on those and when you go down this path of uncompromise then the natural question may arise, how do I make money then? And it's a fair question. And very honestly, I can't give you an answer yet because I haven't done it through my art yet. But it is exactly what I'm figuring out as we speak. And I will figure it out. So if you want to follow my journey, you know what to do.
By the way, I'm Jordan, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 40 people. And I'm only saying this because people seem to care about those numbers. So to give you another number, I started creating videos in 2012. Or actually in 2008, I got my first camera. And I'm born to create, I think you are too. And I'm showing you how I grow my personal brand, achieve financial freedom without wasting time in the journey to get there. And writing is at the core of everything I do, including this video. And when I was writing, I was actually curious about who would watch this. Are you a painter, designer, or a writer like me? Let me know in the comments. And only the serious person may check the show notes. Talk soon.